name is Yehuda Klein. I am the owner of O Nuts. We are right now on 13th Avenue and 50th Street, the heart of Borough Park and biggest Jewish community in New York. I started a very, very small retail outlet. I actually started it on milk crates. I guess it's in the family. My father was always in business, my mother was always in business, you know. We have it in the blood. Customer service is the most important part of our business. Yeah, my name is Ari Tachover and I do the internet marketing for the business for Onuts. Our customers coming to Onuts.com, we try to create an experience of trust. The first thing we do is look at the feedback before we do any other move. We have created a program for reviews. It gives the customer the feeling that we're really interested in knowing what he's saying and we really work with it. We're getting the feedback from the web faster than I'm getting it from the stores. A store, when it's very hectic, nobody's there to answer emails, pick up phones, give the right service. Now I make sure every single online order goes out from the warehouse. I'm Anita Campbell, and I run an online business called Small Business Trends. I've been a business junkie all of my adult life. You really can't be in business unless you understand technology and know how to use it. The theme today is about strengthening existing relationships with your customers. It's about developing customer loyalty so that those customers come back to you again and again. When they think about who they want to go to to buy the product that you carry, they think of your business first before they think of your competitor. Well, Mr. Klein, thank you very much for having us in your store today. Thank you so much. Well, one of the most intriguing things about your business to me is your name, Oh Nuts, yeah. which makes you smile. I always get laughs. <laughs> I'm happy about it. So that brings people in, and I assume that makes people remember you as well. But what would you say is really the most important thing about your business? Nobody has the amount and the variety that we have. We try constantly to be there to make unique products that we only have on the website, especially that made for us. So how do people hear about these unique items? Is it word of mouth? Are they searching online? Or is it a combination? Combinations. A lot of people in the stores, they would know what they can get. Some people, they go out of town, they know they can only get it online, and some of it is word of mouth, some of it is advertising, all different kinds of angles of media. So tell us about how you use Facebook, for example. I noticed you have special promotions on Facebook. We involve the customers, we ask them questions, which product they like. We would bring them into the process, and people feel a unique connection to the product. You know, it's a real contents, it's a real closeness to the company that the people have. Mm -hmm. and people love it. And I assume you're on sites where people can write reviews about your products. So would you say that developing customer loyalty online is important to your business? Yes. We used to rely on a person coming in and saying a good word in the store and get the feeling what's going on. It doesn't happen anymore. Right now you get real data right on time. And how fast do you get that data in? Instantly. Instantly. So do you monitor customer reviews online? Yes, that's something that we have added. After 20 days, an order goes out. The customer gets an email notifying them they should review the product, and that's very, very helpful. Because you're getting all this feedback from social sites and from the emails that you send out and the orders on the web. In the end, it's all to serve customers, right? That's right. Everything is to serve customers. So today, people go online a lot more, don't they, to give reviews on social sites? Yes. We got so many reviews. There's so much information out there. Just have to get it to the right channels and get it to work. You have a CRM or customer relationship management database project underway. Is that something you consider important to your business? Right now it's one of the most important tools that I can have real data, I can have real inventory. That's a very great tool and I don't think I can go any further without having a CRM in place.
I think the average consumer, average buyer, doesn't give a thought to the technology behind a business, but that's the way it should be, and that's where the brilliance comes in in the business. If you can do that and you have all of this working in the background, it's working like a well-oiled machine, it lets the customer focus on what's important to them, then you're doing your job as a retailer really well. There's no way I can do whatever I do right now if not the technology. The real challenge is how to bring all the information that there is out there in real time and do the right thing with it. First time when I opened it, somebody came over, you're going to sell nuts and candies, from that you're going to make a living, you will never make it. But he was proved wrong.